Welcome everyone to a Battle for Zendikar Draft with me, Dennis. I'm going to quickly decide what we're going to pick and then we're going to address a couple of things. So, Angelic Captain, 5 mana 4 3 flying, gold colored rare, ally, mm, what else is interesting? Evolving Wilds is interesting, Akum Stone Waker is interesting. This pack is pretty weak overall. I mean, maybe I just take the Angelic Captain and see if. That works out, like a Mardu colored kind of allies deck. I like the black white deck a little better than the red white deck, but it's not bad. A Coom Stone Waker is just a good red card. Just fine, solid card. I think taking the captain and seeing if I can make it work is certainly more interesting. Anyway, um, no video last week for a couple of reasons. Um, we were preparing for the game show, which I filmed this morning with Ashin. That was good fun. I also had very terrible food poisoning, which is significantly less fun. And um, Ushin had tonsillitis, so real perfect storm of things there that made us not have a video last week. Um, probably want United Front. I uh, wouldn't mind a Blighted Gorge, wouldn't mind a Core Castigator, wouldn't mind a Stone Fury, but is this too all in on the whole um, stupid allies thing? Maybe it is. Maybe I just want the Core Castigator, that's just a good card. We will wield the United Front. Nut front is only really good if you can do it for three, and it's not even amazing. Then I'm gonna take the Cascader here, I think. Let's try draft allies. Screw this might the monsters in the stone fury. Let's try draft allies. Um so yeah. And the reason I isn't here today is because he also, after Tonsillitis, developed a very, very, very sore back. So after we filmed today, he was like, Alright, we're we going back to yours to do video now. And I was like, listen, buddy, you're in bad shape. Go home. I'll handle it. And truth be told, I haven't been playing much magic recently. Um, Ushin is swamped at work. I'm swamped because it's my final year of college. So I've got a thesis to do and a bunch of data to collect and analyze and all this stuff. So we've been mightily busy, but that should start ramping down soon. And we will have a nice, lovely new episode of the AM Show for you next week. It's another clutch of currents that's just really good, but I mean... Maybe we just continue down this path. I'm going to try to force some allies. Because I've never made allies work, so I'm going to try to force allies and have a little bit of fun today. Um, I didn't want to draft Legendary Cube. I've only drafted it twice in my own time. And I didn't like it at all either time. Didn't have a fun time at all. So um, we're not going to take this draft too seriously. We're going to try and try and draft a nice little bit of allies. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. If we lose round one and we get kicked out, we get kicked out. What are you going to do? Sometimes you got to remember that uh, for a lot of people, me included, um... Magic is about having fun, you know? It's not always about winning. Um, obviously, if you're not trying to win at all, there's not a huge point in playing. But um, And obviously, there are people who have to take it very seriously because it's part of their job, you know? Professional players, I mean, they don't live off their winnings from GPs, but they live off of being credible in that, you know, their skills and their practice and stuff make their articles worth reading. Malachir Familiar is just a really good card. I think I take it. This is great stuff for a black white allies deck. You know, yeah, you need the Claster Healer or the Dragon Sensor or whatever to start really cooking with the Malachi Familiar. But, you know, black white is a great base for this deck. And I mean, this is certainly a signal, I would imagine, fourth pick. And if we're black white splashing for this, you know, five mana, however big it is, flyer, that's no joke. That's no joke at all, good sir. Um, yeah, so I think it's important occasionally to remind yourself that not everybody has to try and win all of the time when playing Magic, you know? Fire Mental Mage is a good card. Good, good ally card. Blighted Friend's a strong card too, but we're playing allies. We're playing three color allies. Maybe we'll get that Evolving Wilds back? I wouldn't bet on it, but we might. <laughs> yeah, I haven't. I mean, I've been passing Smite the Monster Says, past the Blighter Fan, past the Blighter Gorge earlier, but I don't really want to do that stuff. I want to make this work. You know, and maybe, you know, maybe an 8 4 wasn't the best place to try <laughs> make something like this work, but. You know. Let's see how it goes. Perfect. March from the Tomb's pretty strong. Although. They all have to be in the bin, so maybe another core cascader is just smarter. Maybe a Death's Behemoth is just smarter because it's a strong card.
Mm -hmm. oh, that's a late Demon's Grass. That's a late Serene Steward, too. Works with life game, works with allies. You know, really we want a lantern scout, then you're cooking. Or um You know, Drana's Emissary is obviously amazing. Obviously Drana herself is pretty good, but um Drana's Emissary is obviously amazing. And Classic Healer is also very, very solid. Also, this is just a fine card. It's two mana two two ally. You know, what do you want? La 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 late blighted gorge in a three color deck I'm not delighted about that I won't lie but maybe we're not three colors maybe we're just red white so yeah needless to say I shouldn't I have both had very tiring tiring times lately so a slight lapse in our content is something I am very sorry about and I can tell you I'm not happy about it at all but sometimes these things happen and you, you move on with your life you know um really want this first chunk of removal here over the camastria and night watch or anything like that I think Not in love with that reckless cohort, but you know, we'll see. I'm gonna play this. Currently doesn't hit anything in my deck, so that's a nice sideboard tech maybe. It's a late unnatural aggression. I mean, people really are really down on green, man. And I mean, rightly so, honestly. Guys, are field stalker not a card I'm interested in, I'm afraid. So, we've got a reasonable base here. Some red white ally cards. Not care familiar, hanging out in there. But mostly because if we pick up some of the more enabling cards. Ooh, Ally Encampment is a very good card for us. And not a ton of this other stuff's amazing. Ally Encampment's obviously just better than Evolving Worlds in our deck, I think. Um all these cards are allies. We don't actually have any black allies so far. But now we can take them a lot more easily. It might have been reasonable to take that Evolving Wilds and hope to wield the Ally Encampment, but oh, Touch of the Wild, I'm interested in that. And we'll probably get this Omni Champion back, and that's a fine card. Fill out a nice four drop slot pretty well. But Touch of the Wild, I'm very interested in. I'm very, very tired. <laughs> um, ooh, Cyrus Stagnation is just very, very good. That sucks. Expedition Envoy it is though, unless... Nah. Nah, Envoy it is, I believe. And that's fine. That's an aggro allies deck. Smoldering Marsh. It's gotta be worth something, right? And, I mean, it's perfect for our deck. Let's us splash those black cards that we don't have. <laughs> Let's check the price of a Smoldering Marsh. Gotta be a couple of tickets, right? Gotta be at least a couple of tickets. <laughs> Come on, loady, loady. I'm doing it on my phone so you guys don't have to watch. One ticket! Oh boy, oh boy. Um, outnumber probably just wiser, but I like the fixing a lot. I think I'm gonna take it. Maybe that's madness. Maybe that's absolute madness. Ooh, resolute blade master. Now we're cooking. That's nice. Still mostly red white. <laughs> Mostly, I mean entirely, and that we don't have any black allies at all. So that smoldering marsh may not, you know, may not have meant to anything. Maybe net numbers and they would have been much smarter. But I wanted to set us up to pick up some, you know, some late nice black cards if that happens. They don't seem to be flowing. Um, 
So maybe that was unwise in that sense, but... Tandem Tactics wouldn't be bad either. It's pretty good with our Steward, pretty good if we end up playing this Malachir Familiar. Although Malachir Familiar is an awkward splash because Ally Encampment doesn't cast it. Because it's not an ally, it's a bat. Really, really weird bat. It's going to be a double striker a decent percentage of the time and make all these guys double strikers. You know, if you get to go Expedition Envoy, what do we want here? You're an ally, and you pump stuff. You let me kill, just straight up kill stuff, though. Maybe that's more important. Hmm. No. God, no. <laughs> Not an ally. Here's an ally that gives vigilance, but this is just a better card, so... Although being an ally might be relevant enough with this stuff up in this end. Well, you know, hopefully we don't even get to play mana because we've killed our opponent, but then maybe that's the plan. I'll take a tandem tactics here, I think. Although Encircling Fisher has some potential. No, nah, tandem tactics I think is what I'm interested in. Having lots of attackers using that is really nice. I guess the cohort, but I don't love it. So our deck lacks a little oomph. Uh, it doesn't, seem, it doesn't look like we got that um, war four dude back. So our deck lacks a little oomph. Um, that's all right. One drop, two drop, three drop. So it's slots in there. Fire charge, touch the void, that kind of stuff. Hopefully, we'll pick up some four drops. Our deck looks fun, though. It looks like a nice little fun time. Need a little more ally payoff. Lantern's game will be great. It's a late flattered fan, I'll pick it up. Very, very, very tough to activate in that, you know, we only have two black cards, so we might not even be running any of them. And the ally and Captain Curry doesn't cast <laughs> either. But we're open. If we pick up that Drana's Emissary, get it in the deck. If we pick up that um, Glastra Healer, get it in the deck. You know? Hopefully we just pick up that Foil Gideon or something and we don't even have to worry about what happens in the matches. But I'm not going to rely on that. Though it would be nice. Or, you know, like a Expedition or something. From Beyond, no dice. Royal's Retribution looks like it's going to be the pick here. There's an Andu Champion, which we might get back this time with a Tide Caller, Incubator Drone. I'm going to knock off Void Tender because people don't like green. Um, but, you know, there's some good stuff in the pack that might mean we get this back. But Royal's Retribution is a powerful card. It's got two for one written all over it. I'll level with you, though. I think our deck is mostly garbage. <laughs> I don't love it at all. Resident Blade Master is the only potentially good card in the deck. Really. I mean, Castigators and stuff are fine, but... I'm probably going to play the um, Ally and Catman. It's got to be better than an individual planes around him, considering we have so many allies. Prairie Stream. That's probably the most valuable of the lands, isn't it? It's non expedition, though, so. Certainly worth less. 
one and a half tickets. Haha! Oh god, well, I mean, there's literally like nothing else for us except this belligerent whiptail. So, I mean, I guess I'm probably just gonna take that. It's just a fine card. But boy, oh boy, is that disappointing. Here we go. Angel of Renewal, meh. Although, probably the pick. These packs have just been awful. I mean, at least she gains us a bunch of life. She's an ally, gaining life will trigger our Serene Steward. Although that's seven mana at that point, so I'm too enthusiastic about that prospect. I think at this point we're just not playing this Malachi Familiar or this Demon's Grasp. That, I think those are off the cards, really. Um, means we can play the Blighted Gorge a lot more easily. It means we can play the... Um, may have to play this Reckless Cohort for numbers. We can play the Looming Spires, so... Yeah, I don't love the deck. It didn't really pan out. I thought it would be kind of fun to go all in on the Allies thing. But maybe I was wrong. Maybe that was silly of me. Dust Stalker, you say? Again, wow, just nothing in this pack for us. Holy poopsies. You and Allah. You are. I can play you. And you're pretty good. I can just chuck you in, right? With the thing and the thing. Ah, yeah. It's a pretty good card, Hagger Sharpshooter. It's pretty solid. Wow, they're just all green cards and lands. <laughs> uh, Deathless Behemoth is just a solid card, though. I'll take it. Six out of six, six vigilance just as a beater. I don't love it, but this draft is kind of a mess. Retreat to Amiria. Now, there we go. Where have you been? That's really good. Although again, not a great a lot of good ally triggers. I mean we have the Blade Master and let's go with Angelic Captain, but that's it really. I guess triggering Fire Mantle Mage is pretty good. Big dumb ally, maybe. Just a big beady ally. I don't want a Bane of Valaget, I don't think this is the deck for that. I'd love that onto you, Greyhorn. Just slip slip right in there. Not the under Greyhorn, the undo. The the four mana four three, the giant guy. That gives guys my ally strap. I'd love that. A late Rising Miasma. It's a strong card, although it's, you know, kills everything in our deck, so... Not excited about picking it up. I guess I'll take an Inspired Charge. Although, I mean, we've hit 28. They can come into these Reckless Cohorts. Inspired Charge is good with... Um, Retreat to Mirror. Two of them, maybe not what I'm interested in, but... There we go. There's no need for the sharpshooter then. Yeah, you know, if we're giving everything trample, double strike, and, you know, menace, now we're cooking. Now we are cooking. Sure.
you, I guess. Don't love the blighted step. I mean, you'd be great, but we're not in green. Well, can I just check you in with a an ally encampment and a forest? It would be so good. So, so good. I don't think I can play you, though. I'll play the encampment, I'll play the Blighted Gorge, and I'll play the Looming Spires, but I think that's all. Six, it's really seven. Three, ten, um, maybe that's better. Okay, let's see how this runs.